And we've mentioned this before, but I don't think we've actually done it. If you did want to save this, you can go up here to Render, Save, and we can save our Render Preset. It takes you to the right folder automatically, or if it doesn't, go to C, Program Files, Pixel Logic, ZBrush 2019, Z, Render Presets. We'll call this PathMic001. And at this point, we can load a new project, so I can hit the comma key. Let's go into Projects here, we'll go to Demo Projects, we'll load up this mech we were playing with earlier. And then in the comma key, or I'm sorry, in the light box, we'll go to Render Set here. And you see we have our thumbnail of our mech we were using. So here's PathMic001. I can double click that and that'll load up our render settings and our BPR filters. And if you need to, go ahead and hit BPR and that'll give you the BPR render of our object. So we're going to turn this off and we'll go ahead and rotate it around and then we'll hit BPR. And that's the result we're going to get. Now remember, uh, if we do have Polyframe turned on and we hit BPR, we'll get some of that color overspill. And if you want to, you can actually go through here and say, you know what, in this one I don't want the overpaint, but I do want to put that outline edge back on and I do want to go ahead and desaturate everything so we're just getting that kind of sketchy mech look. And I think we may even still have, we'll turn off the canvas, we can turn on that contrast, screen tone dots that we were using, and let's go ahead and change that document background. So we're going to document back, hit BPR, there we go. Now uh, the render is looking a little bit different even though, uh, no it should be uh, about the same. Let's do a little quick test here. Yeah, that's about right. So now you can go ahead and set this up. And in fact, our uh, angle of view is a very, very extreme here. So we can go ahead and hit BPR again. And there's our sketchy mech result.